So let's head now to Kaohsiung for a sweet interlude. There's a special dessert shop in Sanming Market, uh, which will transport your taste buds back more than half a century. Zhou Zhen uh, Lin serves up an array of handmade desserts, just like his father did many years ago. Toasted mochi are an irresistible item on the menu, but as we'll see, they're just the tip of the sweet iceberg. A pot of creamy colored mochi bob around in sugar water. This ice shop in Sanmin Market sells desserts made to traditional recipes, the same as they were made many decades ago. We use glutinous rice to make the mochi. We soak it for two hours before drip drying it, letting it dehydrate, and then kneading it into balls by hand like this. Shop owner Zhou Zhenlin inherited these specialty sweet recipes from his father. The toasted mochi are scrumptious, hot or cold, the perfect dessert all year round. We've been doing this handmade recipe from my dad for 60 years. I'm the second generation. I follow the classic methods my dad used back in the day. To this day, I've never changed them from how he taught me. Many shops are constantly changing recipes in an attempt to keep up with fashions or adapt to palettes with short attention spans. But Joe is proud his mochi are a trip back in time. It's a taste that has remained unchanged and kept some customers' company from childhood into age. I knew this place since I was a little kid. I've been coming here for many years. Their stuff's delicious. The tongyuan are good too. And the tongyuan soup. And the toasted mochi. Every time I have a day off, I always come here and buy something from him. For more than 10 years, I guess. It's very Moorish. The shop is also famous for his baba being a mix of bold treats, including sweet tangyuan dumplings, taro balls, fruits, nuts, you name it, they have it. Many ingredients are handmade by Joe himself. There are ices in summer, grass jelly in winter. Joe says there's no reason to mess with a menu this sweet.